sunrise this morning so I didn't get the real smooth um, water with the reflection on it but that's okay we had a big day yesterday and I was tired so I chose to sleep in um, I also brought my ND 10 stop filter so I can actually get the lake that's smooth um, so what I'm using in this setup right here is I'm using a um, heliopan polarizer and so what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring out the real deep blue in the sky which is going to add that nice dynamic to the sky as there's no clouds in the sky right now um, and then I'm also using my uh, ND 10 stop it's a pro photo and so that's going to make the um, water really smooth and right now I've got my settings I'm got f8 so I can my aperture at f8 so I can sit there and have a nice step of field my ISO is set at 125 I try to keep it real low to reduce any sort of grain and then um, with the 10 stop you can use uh, seconds for your shutter speed so I've got mine set at 25 seconds right now so it's taking a 25 second shot which is kind of amazing because it's so bright you can't normally do that um, and the thing that I want to just say, if you guys aren't used to filters, what you need to do, if you do choose to do the polarizer and a uh, ND filter, you need to use the polarizer first, set it to where you want it to be, and then put on um, your, say, your ND 10 stop. And so that way you can get the polarizer where you want it. But when you put the ND 10 stop, make sure that you're very careful that you don't move that polarizer around or else you just kind of wasted your time and there's no point. So um, anyway, just a little heads up there and I'm just trying to capture the beauty of this lake. Pretty excited about it. And then we're going to kind of see where the day takes us as far as hiking and which lakes we end up. This way. There's the trail. Should be going through that cut, hopefully. Garnet Lake. This should be home for tonight. Day two, we went from Clark Lake down to Summit Lake. This would have been a cool camp spot. Then around this way up to Thousand Island Lake, which had a neat swimming hole. And then up to Garnett Lake. And this is where camp is at day two. We're about somewhere here. Great views. Great views at Garnet Lake. 